Kulichia, Rwanda Agribusiness Tour, Kuri the Boom Africa. Thank you. You're welcome to the Boom Africa. The, the tour is still on. We are, our tour is Rwanda Group Business Tour where we're still uh, touring different parts of Kigali where we shall even reach to different parts in, in Rwanda. And uh, our main objective is to know what, um, how uh, Rwandans and the youth in general perceive this uh, practice of agriculture and in general. So we have a friend here. She will first introduce herself and also continue telling us how how she perceives agriculture in general. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm Claire Humore by names. I'm married. <laughs> I'm married with two kids. Yeah, thank you so much for this occasion to talk about what I I pursue agriculture, mainly in Rwanda, isn't it? Yeah. So um, if I may go deep in, I may say agriculture is most needful thing in our country and also um, mostly uh, if I may say is in too much into business so it's really helpful in 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 running our country if I may say so yeah thank you thank you Claire so what do you normally do like in your normal life what do you do uh, I mean I mean too much into communication yeah about what I do yeah so have you ever thought of doing agriculture or engaging yourself to go for it? I can't, not really. Uh, I've never thought of doing any kind of agriculture, but um, I really support it. I really support it. Maybe yeah. you can tell us uh, how do you support it? Maybe if you're given a chance to go for it or you've given all, all the support and they give you to choose, what will you go for? Uh, uh, keeping uh, domestic animals or farming? Of course I'll go for farming as I said. Yeah, I see it in um, in a supporting chain. Yeah, that's why I really support too much uh, farming or maybe doing agriculture than maybe um, keeping domestic. Yep. Okay, so what will you grow uh, when you do, you're doing farming? Okay, if I was in too much into agriculture, maybe into farming, I would tell you what I would go for. But I mean, I consider it in general. I see it like it's really so important in general. Not say like if I would go for, I would go for maybe rice or maybe something else, but I really support it in general. Yeah, we, I know everyone knows and we have observed, we see what is uh, more benefiting and what is most needed on the market. And I think you've also observed, which is okay. So maybe uh, I can ask you, do you know any of um, organizations? It's not a must that you must know them, but you can tell us if you know and uh, what do you know about them? Okay, I may say like uh, I know them, but I don't know much about them. Mm -hmm. It's like like knowing passing by, you know. So that's that's um, that's what I can say. So I know some organizations, but not in too much in what they do, or maybe like generally what they really do. What is it for? But I know some, yeah. Uh, maybe uh, to to tell you some, I know uh, there is RAB that helps in uh, in seeds uh, development, and also there is Nayeb that helps in exportation of the productions for farmers who take it abroad. And we have IFAD that helps in daily these daily milk productions, and it, this has grown very big, and it's supporting many farmers who is doing who are doing them mm -hmm. uh, in uh, a business and uh, who have much invested in it. Mm -hmm. So um, as a youth, uh, we have many people who think that agriculture is, is it's so, it suits those people who in, who are in villages mm -hmm. or uh, people who are economically disadvantaged. What mm -hmm. do you think about that? Okay, not really. I, I don't support that idea. Agriculture is for everyone. Everyone who really see what is seen, I mean, 
what is it for? Of course, agriculture, as I started, I mean, as I started saying, is a supporting chain. If I um, if I have this, I may have this one else to reach where you know that, that that that's why I call a chain. So it's not like meant for those people only in villages, but also in you know <laughs> in capitals, you know, because not only villages are needed for you know health or maybe um, uh, development growth, but also everyone. Yeah. Yes, um, you've told me earlier that you do you deal with communication staffs. So, according to what you do daily, do you think there's somewhere somehow you could uh, maybe uh, support agriculture or promote it? It's not the mess that you go to the farms and grow staffs. So, what contribution can you give as a youth? What contribution can you give? And advice can you give to the Rwandans and every youth that is watching us? What advice can you give it to them? Okay, uh, firstly, I would tell them that um, anything is in uh, supporting or maybe helping uh, each other. So not only that because I don't do farming, I cannot support it. No, I may maybe find someone who really in need of it. I may give him or her some kind of advice of maybe direct him or her to these other organizations you said, or maybe um, even financially support, even some financially support because someone may be having that idea of studying or maybe of you know doing so in his uh, normal life. But because of lacking of something, maybe knowledge, maybe ideas of where to start from or maybe a way to to get something to 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 start with so um that's how i may help giving some ideas of course or maybe some financial support yeah they're also needed yeah Yes, Ali, I've told you that we have this um, organization that are in charge of agriculture in general and helps, are there to help and to assist agri uh, farmers who, who, who are in need of, of the advices. So what do you think they should do and the government in general, what do you think they would do to promote? Because you see the, the, the population is increasing and we are much in need of food and therefore we need uh, much production from agriculture and... And more energy anyway. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So what do you think the government should do so that we can promote agriculture? This I've been thinking of bit for many years. I really wish and I really hope government will see this and uh, set some seminars if I can I may call them so they should set some seminars for that agriculture and maybe um, uh, keeping domestic. Uh, everyone would think of that as I said earlier but also because of lacking of knowledge or maybe uh, uh, lacking of financially or maybe you know such stuff but also if government sets such seminars this youth will have some ideas of how and when, you know, uh, how to start or maybe how to do it. Yeah. So everyone will really appreciate and really uh, go into something that really they really understand. So apart from that, um, I really wish uh, from those seminars they should also um, set anyhow for youth or maybe for any other no these kind of organizations i said i know them but i don't know much into them so if there is a way they should really um uh, i cannot call it promotion but uh, advertise you know such i may not know that um that uh, i near this into agriculture but i know this is a uh, 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 an organization in, in, in charge of this and that, but only knowing that this is Rab, this is Nayeb, that's it, you see. So they should really know or maybe promote anyhow to, to emphasize that into youth or maybe to, into people in general. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's what I can say. After, after setting those seminars, they should know who is really able, who is really um, uh, uh, like have like that enough knowledge to start this on, or maybe to do this and also they support them yeah they support them into yeah, like to begin or maybe to start over yep uh, on my side also like i should say that i also think they should uh, uh, like uh, promote these stuff or f um, promoting like 
young entrepreneurs who are engaging in agriculture and and maybe give them funds because you know sure. we have different competitions of young entrepreneurs and everyone is uh, need to engage in different different areas in, in in different sectors so even those uh competition are needed right Sure, yeah, 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 sure. So, thank you yeah, so much. Course, after seminars, yeah. those kind of seminars, they will get to learn. They will get um, uh, to be tested, if I can say so, to be examined, mm -hmm. to see who is able, to see who is really uh, uh, into that. You know, I may really need to do so, but I'm lacking of something to study or maybe to do so. So, after those seminars, they would examine or maybe they would, you know, set such tests to do, well, maybe to select to kind of go for, or maybe, yeah. So, do you think that agriculture is something or it's a career that uh, helps someone live successfully? Of course, yeah, 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 very sure. Yeah. So, you're advising everyone to, to go for it if they can? <laughs> not like everyone should go for that, but also I... Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> yeah, it's not, but now come on, thinking everyone into agriculture, yeah. you know. Okay, okay, I may say, okay, those who are really, I may not maybe go into that, but I can support. This is maybe what you are calling everyone to go into agriculture. Yes, indirectly or directly? Okay. Uh, sure that. Okay, like I would, I would really um, encourage. By the way, like kind of closing place, I would encourage everyone who's really um, into that, who have like such thoughts, or maybe who have that. Um, uh, how can I say passion to go to go into agriculture? It's really so beautiful. It's really so uh, hopeful. Otherwise, like if I may say, it's it's. As I started saying, is into business and it, it is into supporting chain. You saw what I call chain, everyone would find himself or herself into that. Yeah, as you said, uh, we have like much population and all everyone needs to, to, you know, needs good healthy. You so, yeah, so everyone would find himself or herself there. So it's supporting chain, as I started saying. Yep. Thank you so much. You're we have so far seen that everyone depends on what agriculture. So thank you so much for the brilliant ideas and we continue to welcome everyone and stay tuned and watch these videos that we share as we we gather different information and ideas from from the youth especially here in Rwanda. We continuing with our tour where we shall reach even in different places in, in Rwanda. We're still in Kigali. Please stay tuned and, and subscribe on our channel, The Boom Africa. Thank you.